Welcome to our lockdown series, our second week. I think this is uh, our class number six. And can you all hear me well? Anna, è possibile che tu abbia in spagnolo? No, I, I no abbia in spagnolo. Sorry. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm going to mute you now, guys. And uh, I'm Ina, and I want to welcome you at uh, today's class six of uh, the lockdown series. And so last week we were uh, doing all the keys standing up. And today we are going on the mat and we're going to do the keys in a very similar order, but lying down. So we are going to explore the same energies in a different uh, orientation. We're going to be lying down and we're going to be coming in contact with the earth, our mother, uh, and uh, feeling those centers and those energies and connecting with these intents in a slightly different way. So I'm uh, trying to uh, live stream this on Facebook. So I hope it works and I hope uh, it's, it's working, yeah? Oh, well done. So it's working and we are live on Facebook, you hoo! And uh, so everyone who's uh, joining us live on Facebook, uh, feel free to uh, jump in. And if you come uh, later in the practice, uh, you can watch the replay. So, <clears throat> I'm so um, excited to be sharing with you today uh, the humbleness key. Now the humbleness key works with uh, three centers like we found last time, uh, with the lower disc, with the heart and with the brain. And uh, we're going to go on our mats now uh, and uh, explore it uh, lying down. So make sure that uh, you've got uh, <clears throat> plenty of space around your mat, okay? So we are on our mats and we've got plenty of space around it. You need to be able to open your arms to the sides and we're going to be opening up with the legs as well. And if you like, you can have a pillow. Uh, it can be smaller uh, if you uh, feel like just to support the head. And so let's roll on to our backs, lie down on the mat. And here, we're going to bring the feet up and the hands can be just resting on the edge of the chest. And I want you to tune in here with your breath, just breathing in the abdomen, in and out. So as we breathe in, oh, it doesn't matter, but I want you to roll slightly on the sacrum. Bringing in on the in-breath, the knees towards you, and then rolling back. And you can bring in the toes, in and out. In and out. Staying with your breath in the belly. Just warming up the sacrum area. In, inhalation, exhalation. Or you can try inhalation here, exhalation. This could be easier for you. It doesn't matter, just tune in to the breath cycle and remember the toes. Dipping in, bringing out. Inhale, dip, exhale, contract the perineum. Long breath. Inhale, exhale, contract. We do four more. Inhale, exhale, contract the perineum. Very good. And mute yourself if you're not on mute. Two more. Inhale, relax the perineum. Exhale, contract it. Last one. Very good. And now just relax and roll the sacrum in circles. 
just very gently feeling that area on the sacrum being massaged and change the direction of the circles. Very good. This is lockdown living. We can enjoy it, right? And slowly come to a stop. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna roll to the side very gently. Just allow this whole area around the hips to be massaged here. Just circle as you breathe from side to side, very gently. That's it. Very good. And slowly bring your feet to the mat. And now we're going to start with uh, the leg movements. So we're going to bring the, the leg movement for, uh, as a warm up for the humbleness key is, is, uh, uh, consists of four parts. So this is, uh, we start here, this is number one. The knee is raised and the toe is pointed out. And then we come number two, we open it up uh, onto the knee and we really feel this opening here. That is number two. Just feel, feel this position here, feel the opening. In number three, we open the foot out and the toe is stretched, right? So it comes out. Feel here. It, uh, it can be as up or as down, ideally somewhere around here. And this is really good for building up strong legs. So just feel it here with the point, uh, pointy, toes pointed. And now we're going to flex the toes as we go into the fourth movement and we just bring the um, foot uh, forward, but it's not lying on the floor, it's still engaged up. And so, one, feel it, two, open, three, stretch out, toes pointing, and flex the toes and bring into number four. Okay, and breathe. Ideally, you want to breathe in, one, in two, hold the breath and then exhale as you open and stretch down. And one, 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 hold and one, stretch. Two, two, open, uh, stretch out, toes pointing, two, fold the foot and bring down, very good, and three, 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 following this three part, four part, and three, four down, four, open, four, out, and down, and five, breathe deeply, five, open, hold, and five, very good, we do five more, and six, 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 flex, and six, very good, seven, 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 and eight, 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 flex and eight, that's it, nine, flex and nine, open the toes and nine, and the last one, stretch, open the tie, ten, toes and ten. 
and we bring this leg. All right, to <clears throat> you can shake it, you can shake it to the mat, and we start on the other side. Bring the right uh, leg up and feel the first position. One is here. You're just breathing into this, uh, just feeling. We are now working with the lower base when we're working with the feet. And we're just tuning into that feeling of support that comes from our strong, healthy legs. And then bring your foot to the knee and open the thigh and feel the opening here. Allow your, um, your back to be still connected, your sacrum to be still connected on the floor. Feel that position, feel the opening. That's number two. Number three, we open, stretching the foot out. Feel number three here. Flex the foot and bring it forward. Don't go on the floor. Here, hold it. All right, very good. And one, two, open. Three, stretch, feel the flow, flex the foot and bring down four. Let's try this one more. And one, two, oops, two, three and four. And two, two, flex and down. And three, Open, out, and down, and four, 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 flex, four, and five, five, open, breathe, five, six, open the knee, Six to the side, flex, and six, very good. Seven, open, seven, flex, and down. Eight, open, eight to the side, flex, and down. Nine, 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 nine. Four parts. The last one. Ten. 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 And ten. And bring your legs. And you can uh, bring them down and just uh, shake them. Shake the legs. And now we're going to do the same movement, but with a slightly different, um, <clears throat> in a slightly different way. So first we're going to be Let's, uh, let's try just bringing our legs all the way to the side. Rolling all the way to the side, okay? We're gonna start with the left. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come all the way. So the movement goes like this. We go uh, up one, then bring it all the way to the side, two, and then bring it onto the other side and open, three, and again, four. Okay, so we come up, one, two, three, and four. And one, 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 and two, two, Two open flex, two and three, 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 three and four. Open four, very good. And five to the side, open five and six. The same motion. Just rolling on the floor and seven all the way. 
and out and out. Eight, 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 eight. Oops, can we go with the wrong? And nine, 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 nine. And last one, ten, ten, ten. Very good. Now we're going to go on the right. And one, 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 one. Let's try it. One, 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 one. And two, 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 two. And three, and open, and down. And four, four, open, and flex. And five, five, five. And six, open, flex. And seven, open, and flex. And eight, 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 two more, nine, rolling, and nine, and last one, ten, ten, and again, roll, roll the legs, very good, just relax here for a moment. And bring your feet up on the mat and make sure that your toes are slightly pointing inward so that your knees uh, do not just flop out. And uh, we're going to be <coughs> our hands straight, thumbs tucked in. We're going to be hitting down at the level of the hips. We're going to be piercing down. And as we pierce, the movement is going to come from the belly and we're going to be uh, leaving the elbows slightly bent so we're not going to stretch the elbows but we're going to do this and fully relax and as we exhale we dance and let's try this now and one one and let's start counting we try it yeah so the hands go together on both sides and one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven, eleven, and twelve. Last. Now our hands come all the way up. As we inhale, and as we exhale, we cut down. So let's try this once or twice, and inhale and exhale, cut. And feel the energy around your hands as if you are cutting through something thick, right? Not through air, maybe through water. And inhale and one, two, three, four, five, cutting away anything that's stopping us, seven, from experiencing the balance we seek, and then ten, eleven, and last one, twelve. And now our uh, fingertips join together and we bring them right on the top of the pubic bone. So we're going to inhale, and exhale as you pierce. And here you can bring your uh, uh, your sole of the feet together and allow your uh, knees to drop out. Or you can cross and allow your feet to come out like this, whichever feels comfortable for you. I'll choose this one. And now we're going to be inhaling, bringing in the uh, thumbs, uh, the, the fingertips in, 
and we're going to engage the perineum and we're going to bring the breath into this uh, lower disc area, filling in the pelvis with energy. And as we exhale, we're going to drop the hands to fall flat on, on the belly. And we're going to exhale the air, but keep the energy here. And we're going to do this three times. Let's try a few times. And inhale, contract the perineum, bring the energy up into the warm area, into the abdomen. Hold it. Send yourself the inner smile or the outer and exhale, relax, drop, relax the perineum muscles as well. Once more, inhale, contracting, bringing the energy in, exhale, relax, deep breathing, inhale, contract the perineum, Exhale, relax. Let's do one last time. Inhale, hold. Exhale, relax. And just, you can drop your legs if you like. <clears throat> and just relax here for a moment with your eyes closed. And feel now the energy around your pelvis. The energy around your legs in and around, just focus on, become aware. One more breath, just normal, gentle. And slowly come back, open your eyes. And now we're going to bring the feet up on the mat. And as we prepare to work with the heart center, uh, I'm going to show you a different way of how we're going to hold the feet for the heart center. So instead of on the mat, in order to engage the whole body, to allow the uh, core to be engaged as well, we're going to keep the legs up here and they can be crossed like that. So make sure that there's a, a straight line connecting your knees to your hips and uh, your legs are engaged but relaxed in that uh, position. I know it may be a bit hard, so if you are suffering with uh, your lower back or have any problems here, you may want to do that uh, movement with the uh, feet on the mat. But if you are uh, strong and healthy and you feel that uh, you want a bit uh, more workout, that will be a lot more invigorating, okay? So here, we're going to be first piercing at the level of the heart, okay? And let's, uh, let's first try with the left. So the right, uh, the right arm is going to be protecting the uh, vital center on the right. And the left arm is going to be piercing. Again, the, uh, as we pierce diagonally at the uh, uh, area of the heart, we do not want to stretch completely the elbow with a whole, uh, whole stops when it's slightly bent. And one, one, two, two. Let's try it a few times. One, one, two, two. Okay, we can carry on. Three. Three, four, four, remember the legs and breathe. Five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, and ten, ten. And we're going to change now. I'm starting on the right. Let's try a few times. Do not completely extend the elbow and Pierce at the level of the heart, now clearing all the energy around our heart and stopping us from giving and receiving in balance. And one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. Mind the breath. Five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, and ten, ten. Very good. Now drop the legs for a moment, just take a breather 
And now we're going to do alternating. So the hands are going to be piercing, alternating. Again, if you feel uh, that you have the strength and you want to build more core strength, be up, uh, knees up. Uh, maintain this uh, position because this allows your awareness to be working whole, uh, holistically with the whole body. And again, the hands are piercing, alternating. Be mindful of the elbows and we start on the right. And one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. And drop the feet very carefully. Relax here for a moment. Now, in the next section, we're going to be cutting at the level of the heart. But we're going to be cutting, bringing the arm all the way out and cutting at the heart. All the way out and, okay? So let's try that with uh, <clears throat> feet on the floor so we can get the movement flowing and then we can do it with a bit uh, more with a bigger level of difficulty and we'll get the feet up as well. So uh, inhale on the left and inhale on the right and exhale. In and out, in and out, cutting. And really make a big arc opening uh, that uh, whole armpit. And on the right. And let's do a uh, number of five alternating. One, one. Big arches, two, three, three, four, four, and breathe, five, very good. Now we're going to bring our legs up, knees up. Again, stay here if uh, your lower back doesn't allow it. I don't want you to um, <clears throat> in here. Make sure that you find it very comfortable position. And you can put either one or the other leg on top. And now we're going to be cutting in the same way. Left, right, at the level of the heart. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven. Bigger breaths. Eight, nine, nine, and ten. 10. Very good. Slowly bring your feet down and you can uh, roll the knees to the sides just so that you can massage a little bit the sacrum. And here we're going to breathe in, arms come all the way out and as uh, we put the back of the uh, fingers together we exhale and pierce into the heart. And here, find the place on the <coughs> sacrum, in, <coughs> on top of your heart, where it feels comfortable for your fingertips to be. Okay, let's try this again. Inhale, arms out. As you exhale, bring the, the back of the fingers together and pierce in here. And the heart, uh, so here, I want you to focus in the physical heart, in your heart center, just to experience it. Inhale, arms all the way out. And as you slowly exhale, pierce into the heart. And here we are tuning into the energy of receiving. Allow your heart to receive this energy and this love. Open the arms. Inhale as they come together. And exhale and receive in the heart. See if you can receive with a smile. Inhale. Exhale, receiving. And stay here and bring the soles of your feet together and allow the uh, uh, knees to drop out. Now, if you're feeling comfortably here, stay here. If not, you can also cross your legs and allow the knees to drop to the side. So whichever feels comfortable. And here we're going to take big breaths, inhaling from the, uh, from the bottom, 
contracting the perineum muscles at the base of the spine, bringing the energy all the way up here, and tuning into the energy of receiving, holding the breath with the feet, uh, with the hands up like that. And then as we exhale, then allow the palms to drop down onto the heart space. So inhale, contracting the perineum, bringing all the energy up here. Hold it, hold the perineum engaged, nourishing the heart with energy. And as you exhale, just tune into that receiving energy and relax everything. Just enjoy. Once again, inhale, contract the perineum. Breathe into your heart. Feel it, hold it. And exhale, relaxing everything. Dropping the hands. Feeling your heart center bathing in receiving energy. Tuning into the energy of receiving. How do you receive? Once again, inhale, contract the perineum. Bring all the energy up here. Hold. Exhale, relax. And just stay here a moment. You can drop the legs out, <clears throat> down, if you like, and just feel how your heart center is. Tune into that receiving energy. See what kind of receiver are you? Are you? You can close your eyes. Just being, experiencing, enjoying. And slowly come back, open your eyes, and bring back the feet on the mat. <clears throat> And we're going to do uh, one more, once more energizing of the center, of the heart center, and then we're going to tune into the energy of uh, giving. Okay. So either with feet down, if your lower back doesn't allow it, or if uh, today you do not feel like working out so much, and or otherwise bring uh, the feet up like that. And again, we're going to be piercing, alternating at the level of the heart to begin with, starting with the left. One, one, two, two, and breathe. Three, and watch the elbow. Five, five, six, six, seven, seven. Use the abdomen from the core and ten, ten, two more, eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve. Okay. Now we're going to cut. And now we don't, we're not going to go all the way up. We're just going to cut a bit lower at the level of the heart. Starting with the left. Let's try one, one, and one, one, two, two. Watch the legs. Three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven. Bring in a smile. Eight, nine, nine and last one no we do two more eleven eleven and twelve the last very carefully and bring the feet down now our heart is energized again and we're going to be tuning in to that uh, energy of uh, uh, receiving in the following way again Put the feet together, or the foot of the feet together, and drop them on the side, or just cross them and drop them, whichever works for you. And we're going to inhale, arms out, back of the fingers together, and exhale, fears into the heart. Let's energize the heart with two more breaths. Inhale, exhale down. 
Let F be uh, engaging the perineum muscles to that. Inhale, engage the perineum muscles, and then exhale, relax as you please. And here now, we're going to drop the palms on the heart center and slide them out. And allow your hands, your hands are resting on the side. And now we're gonna do a few breaths with engaging the perineum and bringing the energy to the heart. In, in, get, inhale, engage the perineum, bring it to the heart, hold it. And as you exhale, around your heart energy to flow through your hands, to your open hands. And now you are giving. So here, follow now that energy of giving and see what you want to give out to the people you love, to the world, to yourself. Tune into giving what, and feel what's coming out of your heart. And let's carry on inhaling, contracting the perineum, feeling the heart center full with energy and breath, holding and exhaling, allowing the energy to flow through the hands and into the world, into the universe, giving. What kind of a giver are you? Inhale, contracting the perineum, bringing the energy in the heart, Inflate the heart center, feel it, energized, exhale, allow the energy to flow through your hands, opening out, streaming out. In these times, I tune into giving out love, giving out healing energy, giving out peaceful energy. Inhaling, contracting the perineum, and feeling the heart. And just tune into your own way of giving. There's nothing you have to do. Just what, as much as you feel, just being present. And now, you can drop your legs. If you like, or if you like, you can stay where you are. And just stay in that open giving position for a moment. Just enjoying the open heart. Just for a moment, being within the heart center, basking in giving unconditionally not waiting for anything in return. And stay here for a moment. For a moment longer. And slowly, breathe into your belly and come out, open the eyes. And we're here, we're gonna bring the hands back, we're gonna fold the legs, the feet back on the mat. And uh, now we're gonna <coughs> exercise, uh, we're gonna warm up and open and connect with the higher centers, with the brain center. Uh, so, <clears throat> we're going to be piercing up with straight palms, thumbs tuck in, without fully in the, uh, releasing the uh, elbows. And again, you can do this with the legs down, or you can bring the legs up. And mind, <clears throat> these knees are on top of the hips. And one, one, let's try it a few times. Piercing up, and one, one. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, and breathe. Seven, seven, be mindful. Eight of the legs. Nine, ten, ten, two more. Eleven, eleven, and twelve, twelve. Very slowly bring your hands 
down to your ribs, bring the feet down. And now we cut, or we can cut with the legs down if you like. So the hands come down as you inhale, and as you exhale, we go cut up and inhale and and one. Bigger breaths, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, twelve. And you can bring the top of your head on top of the uh <clears throat> Of, the, of your head right on the crown. Bring the uh, <clears throat> feet together and drop the knees or just fold the knees and drop them, whichever works for you. And now we're gonna be engaging the perineum and pushing all this energy all the way to the top of our head where our fingertips are. And as we exhale, we're gonna keep the energy here, but relax and hold, uh, hold the hands down onto the uh, Chest, uh, skull. And inhale, contract the perineum. Bring the energy all the way up to the top of your head and hold here. Experience that tightness in the abdomen as you contract your perineum. You feel the energy streaming and rising all the way up to the top of your head and hold it. This is a great boost for the pineal pituitary glands. Your final breath is really an all time high. And exhale as you relax. Completely relax all the muscles. Realigning all the senses now. We're being in equilibrium, in reciprocity with the world. Contract the perineum as you inhale up the spine. Bringing the energy in the breath all the way up to the head. And focus it there, focusing on where this day. Exhale, relax. Relax everything. And one last time, inhale up, contracting the perineum, feeling that contraction, feeling that boost up in your head. Exhale, relax. And as you relax, you can drop the arms to the side or on the chest, drop the legs down. If you like, you can have a little cushion underneath your knees <clears throat> and just rest here for a moment with your eyes closed. Just experiencing yourself as a complete being. You are perfect just as you are. Tune into those three centers we worked with, the lower disc, the heart, and the head, and feel them working in unison. And as you rest here on your back, we're going to play you a little song to allow for this experience to be even more enjoyable. Please let me feel inner peace from my center at 
the center of me please let me feel inner peace from my center at the center slowly start breathing deeper into your belly deeper into the belly slowly coming back and notice if there is anything you want to bring back with you to your day Wiggle your toes, move your fingers, have a little stretch and bring your knees to your chest. Roll a little bit on the sacrum. Waking up to life, you can open the eyes, breathe deeper now. Give yourself a thank you for this uh, doing this practice. Roll on one side and push yourself up and come to sitting. And thank you very much for joining me today for uh, the humble ski lying down. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I hope you can join me tomorrow in our usual time at 11 o'clock when we will be doing. I think tomorrow is the purpose key. I'm not too sure, but whichever one it is, I'm sure will be will be amazing. So thank you so much, guys.